Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the movie Artemis Fowl. Now this is a movie that was supposed to be released in theaters but Disney decided to, to release it on their Disney streaming channel, Disney Plus or whatever it is that it's called. It's based on a series of books that are very, very popular. It's about a young man uh, whose father is He's kind of a, a, a math genius, mastermind, and he has a reputation of, of maybe being involved in nefarious situations. He's played by Colin Farrell. Uh, his son, Artemis Fowl, is played by, let me get this name right, Ferdia Shaw. Never heard that name before in my life. Ferdia. Ferdia Shaw. But anyway, uh, his father disappears, and... You know, Artemis Fowl decides you know, that he has to find out where his father is, what, you know, is he being kidnapped, is he being killed, etc. And so that's the whole point. He is assisted by his father's assistant, who is played by N N Nanso Anozi. I looked this up, Anozi. You know, I've been going to Google to try to get these pronunciations. So Nanso Anozi. And so the two of them are, are searching for the, the father, played by Colin Farrell. And in this movie, there's the world that we all live in, and then there's an underground world, which is inhabited by fairies and goblins and whatever. And, and uh, uh, little people, dwarfs, uh, Josh Gad is a giant dwarf. People say, you know, you're so big and he, you're not a dwarf. And he says, I am. I'm just a giant dwarf. And Josh Gad, uh, who is, you know, there to help, you know, bridge between the two worlds, the world that we live in and then the world of the fairies and goblins, etc., is the best thing in the movie. He is hilarious. I just think every time he's on screen, the movie perks up. I wasn't that impressed with Ferdia Shaw, who plays Artemis Fowl. He just didn't have anything special going for him. And he is the central character of the movie. And if they'd had a more dynamic you know, young man playing the part, then I think the movie would have been better. But this is a movie that shows that a ton of money was spent on it. The sets are great. The special effects are great. Uh, you've even got Judy Dench in the movie. She plays, you know, the commander of a group of pixies or fairies or whatever you want to call it. Judy Dench, I would watch in anything. She is a screen legend, and I appreciate every role that she takes. And the movie is directed by Kenneth Branagh, uh, who is a fantastic actor, director, and he has a controlling hand over everything. He gets gets it moved. The sets, the special effects, the actors as a whole are really good, but the script itself is not as compelling as it should be, which, you know, the reason it was brought to the screen was because it's based on a series of books that are so popular, so you've got the basic, you know, framework for the screenplay in the books, but it just, it, there are moments that lag and between action, so that's one of the reasons that I hesitate about it. But it's rated PG because there is mild violence in it. Nothing, you know, extreme. Uh, again, it's always a pleasure to watch Judy Dench. Josh Gad steals the show. I scored it 6 out of 10. It's above average. It certainly, certainly shows that, you know, a lot of time and effort went into it. But the lack of charisma on the part of the leading actor, Ferdia Shaw, really, really pulls the, the movie down from the as good or better that it could be. So, 6 out of 10 from me. Reach down there, hit the subscribe button. We want to have you as a subscriber. It's part of our gang that, you know, is here. We're here on YouTube. We put up new videos every week, so you can keep up with that. But for today, my entertainment rundown has been a review of the movie Artemis Fowl.